Okay, so let us now, we are going to see a different question about, this one is going to be about scale drawing, but please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Now, here we are given three points as, let us go through the question, by the way. Three points A, B and C are 10 kilometers, 9 kilometers and 12 kilometers from an observation point B on bearings 100 degrees, 240 and 00 degrees from B respectively. Find by screen drawing the bearing on C from A. What we do, I'm um, start by draw adding, we start by putting your sum for sketch here. So my sketch, you see, I have a small of the direction point B. Let me say this is my B. Point B. I have from B, that doesn't mean that point A is 10 kilometers on a bearing of 100. So from here, if I draw my compass from this point, immediately I draw my compass from this point B, like that. If I draw my like that, this is the sketch. So then this is the point B. Okay, let me put there B in that thing. So now, the thing is that this one is 100A, is 100 on the bearing, on the difference point. So if this is B, then on the bearing, it's going to be 100. So you put here your contractor, you see where your 100 is going to be. So it's going to be um, somewhere here, 100 there. So this is going to be the bearing for points. Then 240 for point for point B, 240 for point B, so 240 is here. If this is 270, then 240 is there, around there. Then C is 0, 0, 0, 0, meaning they have not moved any, any angle. So 0, 0 is there. So that's going to be my sketch. So after doing that sketch, allow me to now extend curves inside. So that it looks more concrete. So now those are the three. This is the sketch. So this is the three. So this is I'm assuming this is my point C. This is my point A, and this is my point B, as it was given. So from here up to here, it's going to be 100 degrees. Then from here. At this point here, it's 240 degrees. This is our point B, the reference point. Then C is there. Then the kilometer from this reference point A is 15 kilometers. Then from, I mean from B is 9 kilometers. Then this one is 12 kilometers. So now, using scale drawing, so we are going to define the scale ourselves. So it's up to you. So me, because I'm seeing I'm having these three, so I'm going to, I may say, I'm going to do the simple scale of three centimeters. So I said, scale, using a scale, you define it yourself of one centimeter to represent, represent, let me say one centimeter represent three kilometers. Three kilometers. So now there, I'm going now to start getting these two things. So my PA, so my PA, is that my PA is 15 kilometers. Meaning this would be 15 over what my scale is, three. These are be centimeters. So this is going to give me five centimeters. Then I come to my PC, but my PC is 4 kilometers. This is going to be 12 over what this centimeter is, which is going to give me 4 centimeters. And I come now to PB. My PB is going to be, here it's 9 centimeters which will be now 9 over 3 centimeters, which is going to be 3 centimeters. So you define this, of course you define the scale which is reasonable. If you say 10, now 10 is going to give you the small points, which is not good. 
That's why I chose three. See, so that the values are okay, even based on the values you have. So no one is, there is no formula for that. So you know, even you can use two here, two, it's up to you. But as long as they have defined it, what stands for. Now, I come here, I'm going now to sketch that green diagram. So now the accurate diagram is going to be. So this is our accurate diagram. So the accurate diagram, you see that I'm having. Now let us then start by drawing my point P. So my point P. Let me draw my point P in the middle here. In the middle Q. This is going to be my point P. So if that's my point P, now I say this point is point P. Now I come and I also, now I need to then you start with the PC. PC is four centimeters. So you come and you measure off your four centimeters. My four centimeters are going to be from here up, up there. So that's going to be my four centimeters. So where they are stopping is going to be the point C. Then this A, for it is on the bear level 100. So you come and get a protractor on the bear level 100. You put it there, bear level 100. I think you see where it's going to be. 100 is here. 100 is here. So there, you also measure the distance of this PA. PF, where it's PA, its distance is 5. So you measure off your 5 from here. Your 5 must pass through to that. So my 5 is here. Then you join. So this is my 5 is there, which is going to be, I mean my B. So these were 4 centimeters. These are now 5 centimeters. Now I come to my my A. A? Sorry. My A was 100. Sorry, this is A. Sorry, that is A. This is A. Then I'm, I'm going to my B. This is my A here. Then I'm going to my B. My B is that the bear is 240. So you also indicate from here to here is 100 degrees. So then I'm going for 240. 240, it means that if it's 240, from here up to here up to here, it's 270. Meaning, I'm meaning with 130 degrees to reach this. So from there, I'm going to measure out that. 30 degrees, or 60 from here. So you see 180 plus 6 will be up to 240. So from zero you made only just 50. I mean 60. So that's where it's going to be. Then there you measure it off. It's 30 centimeters. It's 30 centimeters. So my 30 centimeters is mine are going to be from here up to here. This is where my 30 centimeters are. Then I join those points. So this is where my three centimeters are ending. Then this is going to be the point B. So that's how I have can sketch that. Then you indicate from here up to here it's 240 degrees. Okay, so if you have that members now, they will start answering our questions. So they want us now to get the bearing of C from A. So the bearing of C from A, let us see what we shall be having. So C from A, where is our C? Our C is here from A. So I need this of C from A. So now, this is the bearing I'm going to look for. So, say, after reaching a point, you need to draw a compass there. Then also here, 
it will be the same case like this. Now here, see, from A means that this is what I want. This is C from A. So this is what I'm going to be looking for. So C from A. Now what we do here, you see this is the whole thing we want. We want from C from A. So I want it from there up to that point. Now, we start that layering. So, this is number one. C from A is going to be, we are going to add this 90, then plus this 90, then plus this 90 here. Now, look at this. From here, this 90, look at, uh, okay, where is my photograph? Now, what you could do, you could get your profile by putting it there, like this. Then you measure what the degrees there. You measure those degrees that are going from here up to here, so that I'm adding minus 45. So meaning, from here up to here, it's going to be 45 degrees. Then from there, now you add. This will be to 70. This will be to 70. Plus, uh, that is the 300. 300. 315. 315 degrees. Like that, not 315. Okay. Then, the other, the other way is we want also to get the bearing of C from B. The bearing of C from B. C from B is going to be, this one is that. C from B, you join C from B. So start there, but the, the, the starting point is B. So you join. C from B, so from there, this is what we want. This is the arm we want. C from B. So this is the arm we want here. This is the arm that you are looking for. What are you going to do? You get the protractor and measure that arm. So when I put my protractor there to measure that arm, you see I'm getting the I'm getting it as 22. So I is 22, but because it says bearing you give it three digits. So it says zero to degrees from there. Then what else? Distance AB and BC. So I'm going to three. My AB you measure still. AB. Where is AB? AB. So this is that our AB, we are going to measure this distance AB here. So I join there. by stroke from B to C, from B to C, 
via B. So meaning it's going, it's going from B to C, but via B, meaning this relation is going to So it's going to take P, B, then B, B C. At a certain speed of reprogramming that determine how long it would take to travel. So I mean now, you know that always, time is equal to what? I mean, you know, you know that time is equal to distance over the speed. So meaning our distance, our distance from here, our D. Our D is going to be, it's going to go via B. You want to go to C, but it's going to go by, it has to go via B. It's going to be B, B plus B, C. B, B plus B, C, which will be our P, B is the 3. Then plus B, C, our B is where B, C. I think we got B, C. Where is BC? Yeah, this is the BC. This is the BC, which is 6 and 7. It's going to be 9 kilometers. So now, I have the distance, I have the speed. So now, my time there is going to be the distance, which is 9, over the speed, was in the speed of 12, which will be, you press that on the calculator, 9 divided by 12. Here I get 0 0.75 hours. So how do we convert 90 minutes? You get 0 0.75 then times 60 minutes now. Which is going to be 45 minutes. So that's the time you spend when it's going by a bit. See, I will see it the best.